The video we're about to watch today is called This is BTS ARMY Introduction to BTS Fans And since we're BTS fans, I wonder what they're gonna be saying about us <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully good thing What's good ARMY? What's good? Watch What's your fam! Hey, today we have a special Patreon request Shout out to all of our patrons Love you to life We do reaction requests slash suggestions in our Star Watcher tier And so shout out to Sean Fox. Shout out to who? Sean Fox, who seems to be a regular because we picked another video from you, my fam, and this is called, oh, I already said what it's called. So yeah, let's, <laughs> let's go ahead and watch the video. Thank you for the suggestion. Um, it's from X Celeste, so great content creator, so I'm more than sure this is gonna be good. Come on. This was made two years ago? Whoa! The BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. BTS Army. Who is the BTS Army? Army was officially established for BTS on July 9, 2013. The meaning of a military army is implied, tying in with the name of BTS, which stands for Pangtan Sonyeondan, or Korean for Bulletproof Boy Scouts. ARMY is an acronym for Adorable Representative MC for Youth, mm. given to them in hopes that they will raise their voices and stand with BTS in support of the underrepresented values they often address in their work. ARMY's in its early conception and demographic spoke for the youth walking alongside BTS to block out stereotypes, criticisms, and expectations imposed on adolescents, actively working to defend and preserve the value and ideals of today's youth. While what initially draws in new fans may be their talent and their catchy melodies, many grow into dedicated armies due to BTS's core values, missions, and social Aww. messages, which have been magnets for the diversity hey. of the fandom. Hey, hey, shout out to you, Celeste, for uh, showing some male armies right there. I see mm -hmm. what you did there. Mm -hmm. I really see what you did there, and I appreciate that, man. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about, because I'm kind of looking here, and I, I don't see any males, but I see some beautiful armies nonetheless. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's always good to see, you know, some male armies out some there, Some representative. Yeah. Some, some guy representative out there. Yeah, you know what I'm bro. saying? Because, like, we exist, we you do. know? And we more do. people need to know this, bro. Right. Come right. on. We, we're, we're not just reactors. There's, there's a bunch of us everywhere. Yeah, there are. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Facts, bro. Which have been magnets for the diversity of the fandom. BTS is adamant on their stances against bullying, abuse, and the current socioeconomic norms. They seek to empower youth and women, promoting mental health, self-love, and self-development. They have inspired many fans to better themselves and be active in fighting against social injustices. Armies started small, but passionate, much like mm -hmm. BTS. Yep. However, one stereotype that incessantly follows the fandom is that of screaming hormonal teenage girls. Uh oh, here we go. <laughs> While amazing young folks are indeed a part of ARMY, and there is absolutely nothing wrong with being a young or passionate person, absolutely statistics not. prove that BTS reaches far beyond its expected demographics. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for putting that in there uh, because it's absolutely true. And like she said, nothing wrong with being young and passionate at all, but that's not the entire makeup of this fandom. Nope. And uh, people really do need to recognize that because we're, we're out here, man. We're yeah. definitely out here. And um, I think like they so conveniently try to put BTS in this box of it's for teeny boppers because it, I guess it makes it feel like more safe. Uh, to put it that way, yeah, you see, but when you have like a, such a diverse group of people that's really into this, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden the wrong people could see it as possibly a threat. You mm -hmm. feel what I'm saying? It's right. not so safe anymore. Right. Like you gotta really take it serious, even though you should take it serious that there's so many youth that are into it in general because the youth are legit the future. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? So you should take it serious regardless, but. I'm glad, uh, you know, she did mention that about the demographic, yeah. bro. Take a look at this age demographic. 28% are in their 30s and 25% are 40 years old and over. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Look at that. And that right there 
it kind of almost looks like our channel demographics, which is the makeup of everybody that watches our channel, whether they're subscribed or not. Right here, the numbers, numbers don't no lie, lie, bro. No, like, no, no, numbers no. can be misinterpreted, but accurate data does not lie. No. Here's a graph from Reuters, who compiled the web traffic for 2020 Map of the Soul tour tickets. Oh. Females ages 25 and up made up 46% of web traffic. Mm while 31% were Whoa, males. Oh, that's surprising. Armies wow. hail from different countries, yeah. backgrounds, ethnicities, mm. ages, creed, and gender. I think yeah, yeah. it is important to note that there are passionate fans in almost all disciplines and subcultures, yep. most mm -hmm. notably Definitely. in the sports world. I do often wonder why it's socially acceptable for boys and men to show their undying love and support for something they're fanatic about, yet, Girls and women are so often belittled for their enthusiasm. To help you visualize, take a look at this graph from Research BTS, showing similarities and differences between sport fans and boy band fans. Also, note that mm. older fans often have more disposable income. That helps them afford the band's merchandise and concert tickets, and creates an advertising market for the products the band promotes to older consumers, including Samsung phones and Hyundai cars. <laughs> That's interesting because yeah. that's 100% factual evidence confirmed yes. that sports fans are extremely fanatical. But at the same time, like, yeah, there's fanatics in everything, like she said. So why is it? Why is it that this isn't taken serious, like like sports and other things, when it definitely makes a big mark in the world? Is people not, like, taking it serious? Yeah. Oh, so she was saying that how um, there's sports fans, like, or majority men. Mm -hmm. and people take like that serious but when it comes to like people being fans of like k-pop because it's majority women they don't take it serious they're like pretty much discredited is what she's saying whereas mm -hmm. it's perfectly acceptable to be a sports fan so she's saying that because that's majority men more people accept that but people like will look at things like this as being silly to be a fan of or to be fanatics oh. about you see what i'm saying so i'm just wondering like Besides the male toxicity that exists in the world and the chauvinism thereof, that's the only thing I could see as to why they don't take it as serious as sports. Their dedication, passion, and organization has helped us support BTS through a myriad of paths, enabling BTS and armies to achieve incredible results such as getting BTS's single Dynamite to debut at number one on the mm. Billboard Hot 100 and staying in the top spot for two consecutive weeks. Mm. That Only was big. 44 yeah. songs in the chart's history have debuted at number one and only 20 of those songs remained on the top for a second consecutive week. Saying. With the success of Dynamite, BTS was recognized by the Recording Academy for their music for the first time, securing them a Grammy nomination for the best pop duo group performance, making them the first Korean pop act to ever be nominated. <laughs> oh, I felt that eye roll. I felt it because of Grammys. All right, let's, yeah. Woo. Usa. 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 Mm. I felt it, so it was real though. I really did not see it. I just felt something there, <laughs> bro. <laughs> duo group performance making them the first Korean pop act to ever be nominated under this category. Since then, BTS has achieved three number one debuts on the Billboard Hot 100, with the most recent one being Life Goes On. Unlike their single Dynamite, which was sung in English, Life Goes On was sung in mostly Korean. Very impressive. The day Dynamite dropped, it had a total of 1,700 spins on the US radio, while Life Goes On only had six total spins on US radio. Mm. This made debuting Life Goes On at number one even more impressive, not only because of language, but because radio airplay accounts for a large portion of the Hot 100 scores. Mm -hmm. With the release of Life Goes On and the new album B, BTS topped multiple charts on its release week. Each achievement on this non-exhaustive list is remarkable in its own right. But the true marvel of Life Goes On is this. A largely Korean language song debuted at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 with virtually no radio play, 
no remixes, and no bundles. The song Stratospheric Debut offers unimpeachable proof of BTS's popularity and the dedication of their fans. Together, they have subverted a Western music industry whose archaic practices are often rooted in racism and xenophobia and redefined what a Korean pop act can achieve on the US charts. That's big. I still marveling at how great they are and just everything they have achieved but in particularly what life goes on all korean i mean majority korean no spins on the radio no remixes no no gimmicky stuff to help push it at the top of the charts yet it got there that's the power of bts and army right there man it is nothing to really sleep on and also i'll say this army doesn't just blindly follow or listen to music like that just because it's bts mm -hmm. you know i i see that like when the majority of army are really like streaming a song it's because they genuinely do enjoy it mm -hmm. and they like it you feel and, me and that's yeah. that was something i was about to get into with that song that was a very important song at the time oh like yeah. you gotta remember yeah. like what that song was really talking about mm -hmm. and for a lot of people who even dealt with hardships yeah. like throughout that pandemic time was you know mm -hmm. the, it just goes to show you like man like these guys really care army has also helped bts set historical records oh, such mama. as the beatles 52 year record bg's 42 year record wow michael jackson's 36 year record celine dion sorry we're a little biased let me yeah see, let me see mj two year record, record. Real quick. Mike Okay, as first foreigner artist to, to top number one Oricon mid-year album chart. Okay, okay. Michael Jackson's 36-year okay. okay. record, Celine Dion's 24-year record, Whoa. Adele's five-year record, and more. Okay. BTS has sold out multiple stadiums around the world, including two nights at the Wembley Stadium in London, 90, which holds 90,000 people. And the concert sold out in just 90 minutes. Making. Is that one minute per 1,000 people? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. Is my math okay? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> wow. BTS, the 12th artist to ever sell out the legendary Wembley Stadium. During a time when streaming numbers have increased and traditional album sales have decreased, mm. BTS holds the records for the best-selling physical album of the year and the only act to sell over 500,000 copies in the United States. Wow. The what are we talking about, though? Are, are, we, are we understanding yet that music is universal? Are, you, are we understanding yet that we no longer want to be bound by society's expectations of us nah. uh, because we'll listen to whatever we want we don't yeah. care where we're from or how we come we're going to listen to whatever we want whatever is making an impact on our life shout out to bts for being number one in the west selling those physical albums really making a mark i mean that's a that's a big thing bro one thing i have noticed with, with bts is that man people do not care they represent bts and and they represent uh bts on a high scale yeah like they they're not afraid to just be out there like nah man i listen to that for real though. the album map of the soul 7 has sold over 4 million and copies this video was made two worldwide. years ago mm -hmm. in 2019 bts were chosen as endorsement models for hyundai's palisade suv Hyundai estimated sales to be around 25,000, but had already received 52,000 orders weeks after its announcement. Crazy, bro. And the numbers Crazy, kept growing. Crazy, bro. The demand for the Palisade skyrocketed so rapidly, Hyundai struggled to keep up with demands and was backlogged by six to 10 months. What does that tell you? That tells you right there. It's a lot of grown folks that's really into this group. I'm I mean, standing you. this group, not just into standing this group. Literally, they have their foot on the bottom of that rabbit hole, bro. Mm. We buying whole Hyundais, we buying whole brand new cars out here in these streets because BTS. In 2020, BTS endorsed luxury massage chair brand and body friend their sales increased by 46 percent from the previous year damn in short army sell out everything the members touch unsurprisingly their purchase power goes beyond bts merchandise the hey, fandom yep. once sold out fabric softener and wine yes they did bts themselves yes they did they better be paying these guys a lot 
on these sponsorship deals. I'm gonna tell you that, bro. Fabric softening. Everything they touch gets sold out. I've seen every, some stuff. Everything they appear on, they get a bunch of views too. Mm, -hmm, indeed. Even if it's just a commercial to promote, promote, promote. That's Even true. Though you might not leave with nothing. Yeah. I hope they, mm -hmm. I hope they Denzel Washington, Washington that that show. Yeah, that'd be great. Cause you know, I don't know if y'all know the story about when Denzel Washington got nominated for an award and he didn't win. Mm -hmm. He said he gonna leave with something, so he mm -hmm. went taking stuff out the back lobby. <laughs> BTS themselves are charitable and are aware of their power and influence. Mm -hmm. They have been leading by example. Armies never straying far from BTS's actions have also taken to show their love and support towards all seven of the members, but also towards each other and the world around us. I think like we need to remember something as ARMY that, and if we don't know this, it's really good to know. The more we promote and support BTS. Like even though some people on the outside looking in may see it as excessive, don't let their judgments sway you. Because by supporting them in some of the most just mundane tasks, the easiest of, of tasks, retweeting, voting, um, you know, um, streaming, you're helping to support something bigger than all of us. Because look what BTS is doing in the world. The charitable mm -hmm. stuff, you know, to, to um, the helping um, the people in need across the world. Just all the things they're doing. We're helping to fund that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, like, yeah, it, it's nothing to be ever be ashamed of whatsoever, man. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand up. Stand up and be proud of being an army and everything that you do. No matter how many people may judge you or call you a fanatic or whatever it's at least at least what we're a part of is actually doing something good oh man let me tell you something i don't be caring about none of that stuff no uh -oh. i don't be caring about none of that stuff because uh -oh. at the end of the day you everybody didn't saw somebody representing the whole team during the off season no factual evidence confirmed bro get, come on bro get out of here i, uh -huh. I don't i uh -huh. don't be can bro get bro, people out here buying one thousand dollar t-shirts at kanye west concerts bruh come on man exactly no man look and don't bat an eye either don't bet look mm -hmm. i wear i wear what i want when i want how i want i represent who i want to represent Facts. And whoever got a problem with it step up and when i make the call don't don't run then hootie hoo there you are right behind no, us no, when no. we say so don't, don't. hold on watch it fam Hold on. Y'all good. Hold on. Nobody don't need to step up. Hold on. Put the fist of cuffs down for right. a second. While they sell out stadiums and set and break records in the music industry, they've also nurtured a strong and loving community. Mm -hmm. On Twitter, crops of accounts unusual within a music fandom have been cultivated, such as BTS Army Medical Union, yeah. an account made by pre-med medical students and health mm -hmm. professional fans who sought to make learning about medical science fun and accessible. Mm. Accounts like BTS Army Bar Association, mm. made up of lawyers. army lawyers who took oh. on the task to educate the fandom about laws and legal systems. Wow. Army Academy, account providing free tutoring services and advice for young people who need that type of support. Borahe Entertainment, created for army creative artists and musicians. Army Help Center, that is lit. Hold on. What? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna be checking this account out. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Borahe ENT7. We coming. Yep. We're coming to talk to you. There was even a project called the Purple Ribbon Project oh, yeah. to help protect the members from getting mobbed while traveling through airports around the world. We need to do more of that. I'm not sure if that's still going on, but definitely need to do more of that. Seeing some really disturbing stuff, not trying to trigger anyone. But I just wanted to comment on that because, yeah, our guys really need to be protected. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's just so many crazy people in the world. The efforts were seen by the band and one of the members, V, even took pictures with mm. the purple ribbons that were Man, used. that's crazy. Not only do we help each other, but we also try to help the world around us. One of ARMY's main charity fan bases, One in an ARMY, mm, created in 2018, mm. is a collective that acts yeah. as a guide in global fundraising initiatives for fans to donate directly to charities. Mm -hmm. To give you an idea, here's the One in an ARMY's charity summary map 
from 2019. In 2019, more than 370 plus charity projects were created in different countries under ARMY. In 2020, when BTS's concert was cancelled in South Korea due to COVID-19, fans donated their concert ticket refunds to help with relief and prevention efforts. In June of 2020, moved by BTS's statement and show of support oh, yeah, to the this. Black Lives Matter movement, armies all over the world this who had really already incredible. been donating mm -hmm. to BLM causes band yeah, together man. and matched BTS's 1 million donation in just coming. one day. Wow. BTS never fails to talk very highly of ARMY and other artists have also added to the praise. The BTS ARMY, they're some of the most loyal, positive, and fun fans that you could ever dream of. And I just want to say thank you to all of them. Uh, Jimmy Fallon loves you. Yeah, I wanted to say something too. You go first though. I'm going to use uh, his words, I'm not trying to trigger anybody. Okay. Listen to what he just said. This is what we are known for. Mm. And I don't know sometimes if y'all need to be reminded of, not everyone, if some of y'all need to be reminded of that. Mm. But, like, man, never forget the purpose. Oh. Never forget the reason why they even do what they do. Like, it don't mm. even make sense sometimes to hear some of the things that come out of some army's mouth or fingers mm, good, you know good point bro. um the way he just even started I, I it was just like yeah this is mm -hmm. this is common knowledge like if mm. you listen to their songs you know how they want us to act and how they want us to be and i'm not i'm not trying to say like we need to do what they're saying, no, it's not that. I just feel like if you're really army and you're representing, you know, then then represent right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Make sure you mm -hmm. you you even hold yourself accountable mm -hmm. for, you know, if you lack, if yeah. you slack. Like, sometimes you're going to get caught up. It, it happens. We're human. We're not machines. Absolutely. But just allow yourself to check yourself sometimes. And we won't have an ongoing, mm -hmm. ongoing negative conversation or, or ongoing uh hate being spread it when it's something that there's they're not looking for like mm -hmm. they don't want that mm -hmm. you know so yeah. yeah yeah let's 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 love each other let's yeah. be there let's try to teach people that's not army or not fans of bts the reason why we are yeah and you never know what's gonna happen from that yeah but i'm sorry that just that's it, a great it, point it, i love you that know. you said that i love that you spoke on that um, definitely 100, bro. Um, all I was going to say is you're going to give Jimmy a shout out because uh, he's definitely like a, a real one. And you can just tell based on like his actions. Like mm -hmm. a lot of times I feel like people mention BTS Army or BTS in general, but even like BTS Army um, for, for clout, you feel what I'm saying? Um, because we're, we're, we're big in numbers and they know that once you obtain our attention and influence, it's going to really benefit them. So I feel like a lot of people will do that in the entertainment industry, such as like uh, what Jimmy does. But Jimmy, I can tell he's definitely a real one like that. Mm -hmm. um, it's just reflected, like I said, in his actions and then also um, in how he treats the guys and he acts specific, really deep thoughtful questions it's not mm -hmm. just the super fluff stuff that you know that it just shows you that that individual didn't do any mm -hmm. research yep. whatsoever nor did they care to do so so yeah shout out to chimmy fallon as he said just now because mm -hmm. he's he's army like that yeah like you can tell <laughs> yeah dream of and i just want to say thank you to all of them uh chimmy fallon Loves you. Aren't the army are great? <laughs> They're the most beautiful human being. They're so awesome. Also, they're so poorly poorly represented in culture, as these like fangirl crazy like mm, mindless. And they're the Halsey. opposite. They're like intelligent. They're funny. They're tasteful. They're charitable. Yes. Like they wanted to say thank you to me for something, and they organized something like charitable in my name. That's awesome. And they were like. They were like, what should we do for Halsey to say thank you? Like, should we stream her song? Should we this? And they're like, nah, she doesn't care about that stuff. Let's donate to a charity in her name. Dang. And like, organized this whole thing. And then like, did this like, charitable thing for me. And they were like, this is our way of saying thanks, Halsey. Like, thanks. And I was like, that's spectacular. And part of me was like, why isn't everyone's fans doing this? Can you imagine if everyone's fans thanked them by doing, by organizing charity in their name? By helping others? What a better place this world would be. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and I think our- Shout out to, real quick, 
Zach Sang and Halsey as well, because mm-hmm. I feel the same about them that said about Jimmy. So I just wanted to say that real quick. Mm-hmm. And and I think Army is is just it's just good to people. They see one as real, and I've Max, been so grateful. Another real that, one. Mm-hmm. That effort to just be respectful has been taken in such a in such a beautiful way because I know that there have been other instances where people haven't been as respectful, which is mm-hmm. unfortunate. And, uh, and, yeah. it's, and it's tough to see that because you're like, it's not that hard. Just just be conscious of who you're working with and give love to those who deserve it. But yeah. I, uh, I feel very grateful that they've been, they've just opened me with welcome arms and it's so good to me. So it's been yeah. amazing. It's a beautiful thing. Shout out to John Cena. I just saw him. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful thing. Uh, Army, overall, absolutely, uh, the great majority of us represent this. And I really am thankful for Chapter 2 because there's definitely an exposing and a purging going on of the toxic, quote-unquote, fans. Mm -hmm. And hopefully by the end of this Chapter 2, we'll be a cleaner, more well-oiled family. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, as much noise as the minority makes... Mm -hmm they definitely don't put a stain on what the majority is building. So shout out to Army, bro. Shout out to y'all. Absolutely. Us. Well, us. Yeah, Yeah. Yeah, us. And on top of that, they've developed this this global army, this BTS army, that is not just, like, geeked out fans. Like, BTS donated a million bucks to Black Lives Matter, and the army was like, yo, if they can do it, we can do it. And they came, like, uh, fans who were already coming out of the pocket to support artists came out of pocket more to support charity. And this isn't the first time they've done this. This BTS Army charity gives a bunch to philanthropic causes. So as an artist, as a performer, hell man, we have fun. You know, we're doing good stuff. But if we can resonate through the television to you at home, to come out of your pocket to give to a cause, like that's work, man. That's Mm -hmm. work and that's purpose. And that's like, that's, that's changing the world. Let's go, (laughs) let's go, let's go. 당장 팬이나 아미들이 라디오에 노래 좀 틀어달라라고 요청했을 때 오케이 절대로 그러지 않았습니다. 라고 하는 그 무시와 핍박을 정말 셀수 없이 당해야만 했었죠. 그런데 팬들은 절대로 거기에 지지 않았습니다. 어떤 무시와 편견이 닥치더라도 끝까지 왜? 이들의 음악은 정말 훌륭하기 때문에 사람들에게 사람들을 변화시킬 수 있는 힘이 있기 때문에 널리 전파해야만 한다라는 뭔가 역사적 사명 같은 걸 가지고 있었던 거예요. I hope that this video has given you valuable insight Absolutely. that armies mm-hmm. value positivity yeah. and kindness while actively fighting against prejudice, just yeah. as BTS does. So, oh. despite constant pushback from the music industry, the media, and other fandoms often being discredited, bullied, and stereotyped. Mm-hmm. BTS and ARMY continue to lift each other up. Yeah. To learn more about BTS, their personalities, and more, please refer to these websites, apps, and ARMY accounts to stay tuned. If you'd like to learn more about them through my videos, check out This Is BTS, BTS's Contribution to Music, and BTS Hardships. The Purple Hub is also still working on future projects such as a website, and more informational videos. Stay tuned. Hmm. Bora, hey, absolutely loved that video. Very well done. Yes. Shout out to the creator, XLS. Thank you once again, Sean Fox, for recommending this Thank video you. to Thank us. You. It Thank was you. a good one. So, yeah, you get a gold star for that one.